Day 143. In the east, the most important and intense fights are taking place. In the Slovensk direction, in attempt to push the Ukrainians out of the village of Bohorodichne, the Russians continued shelling this region. Today the Russians did not attack. Furthermore, some sources suggest that the Russians decided to take some time to regroup. So in the next couple of days, the activity in this region may decrease. Some Russian sources also indicated the specific region where the fights around Sudarve have been taking place. And it is the forestal area to the south of Bohorodichne. It seems like the Russians are trying to close the pocket around Bohorodichne by advancing from two sides. But the second group of the Ukrainians constantly engages and does not allow it to happen. When it comes to the Dibrivne Krasnopilya region, there were no further updates, but everything suggests that the Russians are improving their tactical position in the forest and are getting ready to launch a series of assaults on the prefrontal settlements in this part of the region. In the Siversk direction, the Russians made a series of assaults. Their first target once again became Hrihorivka, which again confirms that after heavy clashes, the Ukrainians managed to maintain control over this settlement. The Ukrainians once again repelled this attack and also shelled the areas of concentration of the Russian forces in Bilohorivka. When it comes to Verkhnokamyansky, today only shelling was recorded, suggesting that at least some part is still under the Ukrainians. When it comes to Spirne, today the Ukrainian general staff reported that the Russians conducted an attack from Spirne on Ivanodarivka, which confirms that the Russians managed to capture Spirne and are using it for conducting assaults. This also better explains the reason why the Russians started to push so hard in the direction of Barestove. Now it became clear that they are trying to close the gap on the front line and open access to several roads that allow them to attack Vyimka and Ivanodarivka from the south. In the Solodar direction, it was reported that the Russians that captured the eastern part of the town are focused on further establishing greater fire control over the proximate road that connects Solodar to Bakhmut. This is not critical, however, as there are a number of other roads and railways that allow easy relocation of forces and provision of supplies. In the Bakhmut direction, the Russians conducted another series of attacks, but this time focusing more on the Vukhlohirska thermal power plant. Today they attacked the village of Vershina and tried to close the cauldron by creating three lines of attack around the thermal power plant. As discussed previously, the Russians are expected to focus their attention on this part of the region because any progress here would give them huge synergies. If the Russians are able to establish control over the area to the south of Bakhmut, they would simultaneously expose Bakhmut, Chasif Yar, Konstantinivka and Toraisk. The Ukrainians understand this and are making sure that their defense stands. They even relocated one more battalion tactical group from Siversk to Bakhmut because of importance of that direction. Today's attacks were also repelled and the Russians did not manage to increase the area under their control. As you can see, the Russians are for sure not doing an operational pause. However, such a high intensity seems to slowly take toll on the Russian forces. It was reported that the Russian Federation has launched a large-scale formation of new battalions. Recruits are not required to have prior military service and will undergo only 30 days of training before deployment to Ukraine. The goal is to create 85 more battalions, which means additional 34,000 fighters. Such a limited training period and lack of experience significantly decreases the quality of the Russian soldiers and seems to suggest that they are lacking forces. Today I released an exclusive Q&A video where I answer a number of contentious questions, such as is there a conflict between Ukrainian president and Ukrainian military leadership, is the morale of Ukrainian soldiers low and will Belarus enter the war? To gain access to this exclusive video, you can click on the join button next to the channel name or join my Patreon by using the link in the description below.